Hey guys, Mr. Waffline here, and tonight I'm going to bring you a quick review on not only my favorite pistol in video games, but also my favorite pistol in real life. Alright, let's hop right into it. This pistol takes up a secondary slot in your class. Its weapon class is, of course, pistol. It can shoot semi-automatic. It can be used by both the security and the insurgent forces in every single class. Its damage starts at 60, up to 0.25 meters, then drops down to 32 at 203.2 meters. It can also shoot a nice quick 600 rounds a minute when spam fired. Its cartridge is a 9x19mm round. It can hold 15 rounds in the mag plus one in the chamber. It has a quick reload of 2.43 seconds and then a long reload of 2.83 seconds. It does a decent suppression rate for a pistol of 20% and it weighs one kilogram taking up 64 of your 640 weight points. Now normally when I play this game I don't run a pistol that's just not how I play. So whenever I was getting footage for this I ran only with the pistol to see how it hold up against people using automatic rifles and it did pretty well. It takes a little bit of tactical gameplay and flanking around your enemies and getting in those sweet spots where you can either pop off one shot sniper shots and get really lucky like you'll see a couple times in this video or flank around and spam fire and pray to Jesus that they won't outshoot you even though that 9 out of the 10 times they will. But despite that fact it is still a blast to use. It gets your heart pumping as you're running around the map and suddenly you run around the corner and you're just spam firing as many people as you can in a single room and hey, you may clear it, pretty cool, now your teammates can move right on in. The only attachment I had on the pistol was actually armor piercing rounds, so I could easily take down those targets who had armor. And then for my class, of course, uh, it varies in between the security and insurgent side. So on security side, I had heavy armor, ammo vest, and two frag grenades, and of course the pistol. And then on the insurgent side, I had the pistol, light armor, and an ammo vest, and of course one of my favorite guns in this game, the RPG-7. <laughs> Because why the hell not? You want to have those explosives in your class just in case you need to get more than one enemy or you have to reload because there is only 16 shots in this gun. That is a lot for a pistol but you can easily blast through it when it takes 3 to 4 shots to take your enemy down because you miss some of them or they don't do their full potential of damage. Now one of the first things I noticed when I shot this gun is that the recoil is actually displayed very well in this game. I have shot this pistol in real life, and I'm not that big of a dude. I couldn't really handle the recoil that much, but for an uh, army dude, it handled it pretty well. There's very little recoil on this pistol. It's a really small bullet. When I shot it in real life, it felt almost like an airsoft gun, but popped back just a little bit more. And of course, loud as fuck, but we can already assume that. So having such little recoil allows you to really spam that trigger if you get into a sticky situation or anything like that. <clears throat> and just go nuts, but still having some sort of accurate shot on your enemy. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Please comment in the comment section down below if you've shot this pistol in real life and agree that the recoil is displayed pretty accurately. Or if you have any other opinions, go ahead and tell me. I'll read them and I'll respond. Anyways, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and all that smooth jazz. And I'll see you guys Thursday for another Waffle Iron Review. Thanks for watching guys.